Today's third intruder is the grass carp, a highly intelligent fish, elusive, hard to kill. Gorge themselves for days. They were once used as means of removing unwanted vegetation from ponds and lakes, and it was thought they couldn't reproduce in our water. Somebody got one. Wrong again. I think you got him, Clint. I shot low. So there you go. There's millions, and their horde grows. And these guys get huge, well over 50 pounds. All right, hold on. That is grassy. But Clint's not picky. They have pure white meat. That was exciting. There were big ones in there. I got probably the smallest one, but enough for me. Yeah, any grass cart's a good one. Ready? Yep. Oh, I had it for the bump. Pretty nice day out here, calm water, it's hot out. These fish just come up the sun and eat. And they're just real easy to see and we're just sniping them. The horde will feed on every type of vegetation it can digest. Cottonwood seed is one of their favorites. And in the hot summer months, it's thick at the surface. Like hogs, they forage, unaware that the boat is moving in for a kill. Oh, yeah. Got any kills, man. Oh, it's been right. Oh, yeah. Big fish. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boom. Big fish of the yeah, day. Boy. Good job, dude. That's a nice one. Feeding on the cottonwood. Oh, yeah. Should we put the stock on him, too, buddy. We saw this fish out about 100 yards. His mouth is... The trick is finding these fish that have a... A mouth like a silver dollar. If you can fit a silver dollar in their mouth, that's a big one to go after. We put a pretty good stock on him, got right up five yards and put one right in his head. That's what it's about, Clint. Yeah. Ow, he bit me. Well, I guess you can find good in every bad situation when it comes to too many fish. And I doubt we've made much of a difference. For I hear the horde is doing well. But hey, we'll keep trying. Should have used a muzzy. Yeah. <laughs>